Hello, I wanted to share a really exciting idea that we're going to try on Sunday, August 30th at 2 p.m. Central Time. It's that we all jump onto Family Search at the same time and create a family history flash mob. It's really quick and really easy. One of the batches that we'll be working on is a U.S. Missouri County Marriages. Now the easy thing about this one is it can usually be done in less than 10 minutes. But the idea is that we all jump on at the same time and work on a batch and then finish it up and at the same time or roughly the same time and so some of the instructions are here I wanted to walk through a tutorial or just a walkthrough of how easy it is to do and how we would be going through and doing this this is all at familysearch.org so if you don't have an account you can start today by getting signed up for your account or trying to remember your password which is sometimes the hardest thing and we'll be doing a web indexing project now I'm gonna walk through and show you exactly how to do this but if there was problems during our flash mob and you needed to get help, live help, we'll have a Google Hangouts meeting just standing by ready if anybody has questions that they want to ask. So the whole idea is that at 2 p.m. on Sunday, August 30th, we log on to Family Search, complete the batch, and then send me an email, paul at pauldone.com, and write, done, just that you're finished. So here's how we're going to do it. So when you log in to Family Search, which is familysearch.org slash indexing, you'll be able to go to My Indexing and find a web indexing project. You can go to Find a Batch, and the batch that we're going to be completing is the U.S. Missouri County Marriages 1806 to 1969. When you get to this screen, this is a beginner batch, so you'll go ahead and click on Index. Index takes you to the actual project page itself, and there's some instructions if you haven't done one of these before to read. But go ahead and click OK here once you've prepared for that. Now what we see is a bunch of images of uh, documents, marriage licenses, that have been completed in the past. And on this batch right here, and it's common with many of them, there's about five different images. And what we do is we extract some of the information about names and people. And I'll show you exactly what that means here in a few minutes. We can go ahead and expand this so that we can actually read it and you can make it as big or as small as you need to. And we'll decide if this needs to be indexed. So this one looks like there's some information on there that we can pull out. So we'll say yes, click next image. And then we'll look at this one and see if there's any information on here. Um, and sometimes this is just a header document. And so I, as I'm looking at this one right here, it doesn't look like there's anything more than descriptive information. So in this one, I'm going to say, no, there's no extractable data. And I'm going to go on to the next image. Uh, here, it looks like there's some information about who's getting married and some of the dates. So we're going to say yes. Again, this one right here looks like it's just header or information uh, that we will probably say, no, no real extractable data here. And then this one, again, it does have some information on there. And so we can find out the people that are getting married, when and where they got married. And we'll look at some of this in a minute. So once we've decided among these five different images which ones are going to be indexed, uh, we go through and then the form on the side actually helps us to, to look at what this project is looking for in terms of, of numbers. And sometimes we've got to look at these documents a little bit and I'm looking around for some reference numbers and grooms names and parents if it's if it's been added. A lot of what we're going to be putting in is some dates. And then we go through and we just look at this document and type the things in. Now I don't see on this document any specific reference and uh, so we're going to just say that this is blank. We're going to leave this section blank. And I use on my keyboard control B for blank to move on to the next uh, item here. Uh, the people that are actually being married, at least that are recorded on this document, are listed right here. And so the groom's name is the man's name. And we're going to use his given names and type it as near as we can. And then his surname, we're going to type that in. We don't notice anything here except that they are over the age of 18 or under the age of 21. And so with groom's age, we're just going to say it's B. Um, we're going to go in and find out the the bride's name here, and that's on this one is going to be uh, listed here. And the given names are the first and middle names most often. Uh, the bride's surname before she was married was 
entered here. And again, we don't know her exact age, except that she's over or under 18 years of old, 18 years of age. Um, so we're going to go ahead and type in uh, blank. Now, one of the things that we know on this document is the father of Bennett Lee Dow uh, has given assent, but we don't know his name. And so we're going to go ahead and type in control B. Uh, for the name information, we also don't know the mother's name, so control B, control B. Um, we don't have listed on this document anything about the bride's father or mother's name, so we're going to go ahead and control B, control B to put blank, control B, control B, and then we're going to look for the day in which this was um, this marriage was recorded or or um, occurred. And here we can tell that this is the 21st day of January in 1947 and so what we've just done is we've taken this first document and I think we have three documents that we're going to do here three images and we say this one is complete so we're going to go on to the next image and we're going to repeat this here we knew that there was no extractable data so we'll go on to the next image and here we'll go through the same thing we'll look at the names of, of those who are are being married so we would normally expect to see some reference number in here. This one we see there's a 1947-7160. We're going to put that in just because it looks like it might be unique. Uh, but use your best judgment. Now you can't go wrong here. Someone else is going to look at this and if uh, if they disagree or agree we'll be able to to go through and, um, and uh, get that corrected. So do your best and that's all that's really necessary. Uh, again, we're going to put in here the, the names that are listed on this one. We're going to speed through this one a little bit quicker instead of describing everything. Uh, we don't see anything except the groom's age is 21. And the bride's name, we're going to move down and look for that. So sometimes we've got to do a little bit of reading um, of what we're looking at here. And... and We'll go through a little bit quicker here. Okay, 18. Uh, we'll go through and see if we can see anything about parents on this one. And that's why I like choosing this um, this batch. Is there's a lot of uh, there's not always a lot of information to put in, so we can do these pretty quickly. We're going to go through here and we're going to put blank on each one of these items by pressing Control B. And um, we're going to put in the date of their marriage. And here is another one that's completed. So we're going to go ahead and go to the next image. So the next image, this was one that we determined early in the batch that did not look like it had information that we could extract that we didn't already have included. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. Um, here we're going to look at this document and type in what we see. And we don't really notice any specific um, reference number so again that 1947-7160 came up again we might put that on there but um, that was the same number we had last time so we're going to do our best effort here okay uh, we're going to go ahead and put this information in here for what we see and when we don't have specific information we'll be able to go ahead and put a blank in there And let's go ahead and we'll put blanks and the rest of this is going to be blank here so what we've just done let's get the date of the marriage here and that's usually recorded down at the bottom uh, it's on the 24th day of January 1947 now once we've completed and I believe this is the last document that we have we've just completed a batch so we're going to let this uh, family search indexing we'll go through and look for any errors any things that we want to make a double check or re-examine uh, it'll do that automatically and then we'll submit our work once we get the confetti here this means our batch is completed so you can see how quickly we're able to do a batch and that's why this flash mob uh, we expect most people are able to complete it um, within within 10 minutes or at least a couple of minutes at 2 p.m. on Sunday once you've completed this on Sunday in our flash mob please send an email 
to paul at pauldone.com and write done or maybe as i like to say it done thank you very much good luck and if you do have any problems through this uh, we will have a uh, google hangouts open so you can go ahead and just log into that real quick and ask questions and wish you luck and thank you for participating <laughs>